but I'm intrigued with the, the, whole, the whole aspect of putting, putting together a scene, being the director, the actor, the, the builder of the set, the painter of the paintings that might be hanging on the wall. All of that was important because it all had my hand in it. And so we, from a directorial's approach, uh, director's approach, I thought that that was a really unique way of making an image. I was a fan of Greg Crudson. I right. think, you know, if you, you know Greg Crudson's work on this really large scale, uh, transforming entire towns uh, into his scene, his set, just for the sole purpose of one photograph, I thought was intriguing. Um, but so yeah, that filmic, that filmic nature has always been present. Another, you know, it was interesting moving, I moved from Seattle, Washington to to Chicago, and I came in with this whole, I was carrying the weight of nature on my shoulders. I had this belief, I'd been out in the mountains climbing and rock climbing, and I, was, I just had this, this appreciation for being having a physicality and an outdoor physicality that I figured that could also work within the work. I was trying to figure out what I was and who I was and what I could bring to this, so that experience out in the Northwest was completely appropriate for the physical training. And then my love of martial arts, film, I double majored in acting, also in college for a while, but I could only handle rehearsals, uh, doing my projects for school, and a job, and a girlfriend, or whatever, all at the same time was impossible. So I had to drop one of them, but I thought, someday, I'm gonna be in front of that camera. One day. As a child, I actually wanted to be, I thought I'd go, I was gonna grow up to be the uh, cross between Brad Pitt and Jim Carrey. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's what I thought I was gonna be. It. But it didn't work out that way, but I still managed to get myself in front of the camera, still in front of people. I think my stage fright actually kept me, pushed me towards the art side rather than, so this is a way I could perform, but I wasn't held accountable <laughs> necessarily <laughs> uh, for what I was doing. So I came up with the struggle to write oneself uh, based on uh, Heidegger's uh, ideas of you know, existential loss and, and how we move. Uh, it's our responsibility, basically, to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps and continue walking through this life. You know, we're constantly falling towards, coming away from things and dealing with so many things that these times, these moments and these places are when we have to figure out the most how we're gonna be able to pull through. And I thought that was a, another strong uh, place to, to base the work in. Mm -hmm. And I would like to, of course, let you know these are, of course, self-portraits to a certain degree. They are me, but they're also me. Um, and I thought there was a lot of us in, in the work. The anxiety was, I was working out a lot of stuff. I was reeling off of, my mother died of brain cancer in 1999. Uh, September 11th happened during uh, this grad school. of filming, figuring out where my life is going as an artist and trying to figure out where it was that I belonged. I was distraught, I was destroyed. And this is where the work came from. It, I, I like the, the point of no return. I like that in between, I've got a piece that I'm flying over the handlebars uh, of a mountain bike. And I, I like this one largely because I've flown over the handlebars of a mountain bike several times and I really, really found it fascinating because you could fly for a second and you knew there was an ultimate something here, but if you could just enjoy this part, <laughs> man, that was cool, that was really good. And I wouldn't, I would enjoy that as much as I could and then I'd cover up and hopefully you know, not take it on the chin too much. But uh, those, are, those are some really interesting places that I don't think that we give enough uh, credence to those, those, those spaces, they're just moments. So these are documents of those moments. And some of them take them a little bit past that point, some of them are a little, a little before, but you know, uh, generally that is the idea that I try to edit these towards. I've, I had a little girl come up to me during a, during a show and she's like, has her mom there, and she's like, Mom, Mom, why, why, is, uh, why is he dancing in the sky? And she's like quick to tell her child, no, no, sweetheart, uh, he's falling. And I was like, wait a second, I like dancing in the sky. Why, <laughs> why, why wouldn't I? So I can go up as well as I can go down. And I think that that's important about some of these is being able to stop it, rewind it, and figure your own, your own way out.